my name is Chloe Harmer Sinclair and I am Middleton Murray's Apprentice of the Month for April 2019 and I work for Coils. So when I first started working for Coils as a recruitment resourcer, I loved the job but didn't feel overly confident in everything that I was doing. There's quite a lot of aspects to recruitment. I found that with my assessor and doing a Middleton Murray apprenticeship, I've gained a lot of knowledge and a lot of confidence about my area of work so I feel like I come across a lot more confident and reassuring to my candidates in recruitment and that's making it a lot better for me. The key skills that I have learned with doing this apprenticeship uh, would definitely be knowledge of the role, confidence in the role which comes along with the knowledge, a lot of time management uh, with the apprenticeship I've had to learn how to do my role to my best ability but also get my work done. We work pretty much most of our life so it's uh, a lot more enjoyable to come to work knowing that you're confident in your role uh, and you're confident in what you're saying and it definitely comes it makes you a lot happier because you're not struggling which I think can be a bit of a hindrance sometimes especially when you're talking to so many candidates. With the REC the way they wrote, wrote the module is temporary and permanent I just do per temporary uh, in my actual job role so it was quite hard to get my head around the permanent sides to start with but actually it's become quite good because I now understand another element. So if I ever want to go into another department or I want to branch my skills out, I now have an understanding of both aspects of the recruitment. What keeps me motivated uh, doing the apprenticeship every day is that it's going to unlock so many doors in the future for my career. Getting my level two in resourcing, it means that I can then move on to my level three uh, and hopefully could someday become a 360 consultant. Once I've become a consultant, obviously it'd be really nice to eventually perhaps run my own desk, uh, build my own team, start to manage people and just see as far as I can go within the company. Having a dedicated assessor like Kate has been incredible for the journey doing the apprenticeship. You know, if I've got any queries about any work set, if I'm struggling um, to maybe make it on time or to manage uh, my job with the apprenticeship, uh, Kate is so understanding. She's pretty much there any time I need her. She'll call me straight away or she'll call me straight back uh, and she'll be able to just kind of put it into a more understandable term. Sometimes I read things and I think it's something completely different to what it is and then Kate will simplify it for me um, and I'll be like, oh, okay, yeah, and it's so much more easy, it's more digestible. Um, you know, she comes in every month, she's really supportive, which I think has really helped with the apprenticeship because on every step of the way, I've known what I'm doing. I've gone into my exams feeling really confident because I feel like we've covered everything uh, and it's been a really good experience. I'm hoping to do a level three once this is finished with Kate, which um, would be really exciting and I would definitely stick with Kate because she's really helped me. If you are thinking or looking into getting an apprenticeship, embrace it. It's a free qualification. It's a fantastic opportunity um, to be able to broaden whatever career or kind of future you have in mind or that you don't have in mind. It might teach you something that then sparks um, an ambition to do something that you didn't even realise you'd do. So I just think it's a fantastic opportunity that no one should miss out on. Hi, I'm Jenna Last and I'm one of the area managers here at Call Personnel and I'm really pleased that Chloe has won Apprentice of the Month with Middleton Murray April 2019. With regards to apprentices, we have been looking through and obviously we're really looking to upskill um, people within the company. We don't want people to just stay flat in the same position. It's really important for us that we can move people on from administrators to resources, then they can go into consultancy and then hopefully onto the, the journey of management um, in the future months. This has really come down to the staff that we have um, currently. It started with um, one of my administrators, Alex, who approached me with regards to doing an apprenticeship. Um, and off the back of that, she joined and is actually doing one through Middleton Murray at the moment. And from that, I spoke to the rest of the team and Chloe was really keen to to upskill herself and to get the um, MVQ that she wanted. The process has been really good working with Middleton Murray. Um, we were originally um, put in touch with yourselves by our head office and from there on in we've been contacted. I've had constant involvement with both of their assessors but Kate I can say is especially um, has really really worked hard with, with Chloe to make sure that she can get through to the end of it as quickly as possible. The main thing with Chloe really is that Chloe has 
pure determination to make sure that she passes this with the highest grades that she can. And because of that, it's really um, helped and it's shown that she is really, you know, really committed to the role that she's doing. As far as working day to day, it's improved the way that she's advertising the jobs currently, it's improved the way that she speaks to the candidates, and it's just made her more aware of the bigger picture of recruitment. A lot of people think it's just really basic, but actually this has made her more aware of, of the bigger side and the bigger picture, which is just great to see. Outgoing, she's confident, she's bubbly. Her communication skills are absolutely amazing. And overall, she's just a really, really nice girl to work with. And that makes her the perfect employee, in my opinion. I would say to stay motivated in a career, I've now been with Quills for 15 years and the main thing for me is making sure that every day you come to work and really embrace what you're doing. I think like anything, nobody wants to come to work, but we have to. And it's all about making sure that we make the most of every day and giving 100%. If you give 100% then the days will go quicker and you will just automatically move up the ladder. So you people that give more will always end up going into the bigger roles. I know when I started in recruitment, had there been an option to do apprentices, apprenticeships, then I certainly would have um, looked to go down that route. Um, I think it's really important and it just gives people a real good knowledge. And when clients or candidates put blockers in the way, it does mean that you've got that ability to actually come back with real facts.